Welcome to Steve's Hydroponics. Here are some simple tips for taking clones. Some plants are very easy to propagate and some can be quite difficult. There are a few extra steps you can take to ensure that you have the highest possible success rate when propagating. Keep your grow lights on continuously. For seedlings and clones it can actually benefit them to receive a continuous 24 hour light cycle. Cuttings need carbohydrates in order to create roots and a constant supply of light can help optimize photosynthesis to create those carbohydrates. You might want to use a separate timer and lamps for your cuttings to give them optimal light. Fluorescent lights are perfect for cloning. Monitor your grow room temperature carefully. Maintaining optimum temperature is vital for fragile cuttings. If the temperature is too low, it may slow photosynthesis, which means your stems will not receive the carbohydrate they need to form roots. If the temperature is too high, it will cause your plants to transpire rapidly, making them lose precious moisture. The exact ideal temperature will depend upon what plants you are growing, but generally you should try to prevent the grow room from getting under 60 degrees or over 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Wound your stems. Wounding your stem simply means using a razor blade to scrape off the outer section of the bottommost part of the sides of the stem. This will expose more of the inner section of the stem, which may encourage more root formation. Surround your clones with white material. Some people have reported success in cloning hard-to-clone plants by surrounding the cloning tray with white boards or rigid foam board. Since white reflects the broadest spectrum of light, it works because it makes most efficient use of your grow light by reflecting light right back onto the stems. Visit Steve's Hydroponics today at www.steveshydroponics.ca